Hey guys, what's up? This is Jordan Crook with TechCrunch, and I'm here with Adam Wilson from Sphero. What's hey, how's up? it going? Good, how are you? Doing great, doing well, great. It's long been time a while. no see. Yeah. Well, I guess since CES, huh? Six months, good enough yeah. for me. Yeah, it's good enough a for a visit. All right, so you have really, really important, exciting news for me today, right? We do. We have, ex well, we're very, very excited about it. It's uh, Sphero 2.0. Nice. So, new yeah. ball. New balls. Um, <laughs> actually, we've done some cool stuff to the packaging. So we put ramps in the packaging, which kind of gives you something fun to hit. <laughs> and uh, with Zero 2.0, it's about twice as fast, maybe 2.5 times as fast. Wow. So it can really hit like a good foot jump off of these jumps. So you can really cruise. Um, I want to see a jump. Will you do a jump? I will try to do a jump. Um, do we need, little... you have another accessory though, right? We do. We have another accessory that we also call the nubby cover. Nice. Boom. Nubby. So nubby cover. And uh, what this is, it's a little talking Pac-Man thing. Okay. So you put your Sphero in and it keeps it protected. And it also, like when you go into the pool, it gives a lot more traction. So oh, you can, like right. jump off the diving board into the pool, drive around. Nice. You know, so so th that is probably recommended to use with the ramps? Um, sometimes, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like you can't really break a Sphero. So okay. we have this one video, we call it the shotgun video. Skeet shoot and shot a Sphero with a shotgun and just drove it back. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't really break them, but like it does keep it protected and it also sounds better. Like when it hits stuff, it doesn't sound like this big clunky plastic thing hitting right. stuff. So, okay, so we'll check that out in a minute. You also have new software though. What's we that do. all about? So, it's like a two fold package. So, we have the new faster hardware, and what we've done is instead of you getting the ball and it's just super fast and out of control, you right. get the ball and it's at a very fast, fun pace, right. but it's not as full potential yet and you can unlock that by you know doing different challenges like try to drive without hitting something for a minute or you know the more you drive you just kind of level up like an RPG game. So is it like a tutorial type challenge or is it like baked into the other Sphero games so that you can kind of still be playing while you're leveling? Yeah it's a little bit of both so yeah it's like in the main Sphero app you go through this kind of progression of leveling your ball up but as you use it in other apps, you can A, gain cores, which are things you can buy stuff with, like more boosts and rainbows right. and stuff like that. But you can also, yeah, like if we go and play tag or something, like I'm already better than you because I've leveled up higher than you are. Oh, just already better yeah, well, than because, me. I mean, just saying well, it. Maybe you're the world better than me. See. Maybe you're Jeez. better than me, but I just I play with me. my balls all day long. <laughs> and so I have to be you had to you. sneak one in, right? I had to. Okay. But I mean, I that's, do. I, it's fine. This is what we do at the office. So Absolutely. You know, and that's really, the, the whole point of that is just to get people really, you know, kind of interested in, in the ball as more than a gadget, and like more than just a ball, but it's like something that you kind of level up and you're proud of. So, so let's talk a little bit about what is this pricing going to be like? Is it going to change? from the last Sphero and what is your, I mean, it's been about two years since you originally released Sphero. So what is the kind of product life cycle going to look like? Is that what we can expect going forward? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, we're definitely already working on what we would want to show for this year's CES and maybe even the next year's CES. So we have stuff in the pipeline and uh, yeah, with the ball, it was, it was almost perfect, right? You saw the first Sphero, it was awesome. It's probably the best robot ball you've ever seen in your life. Right. But it wasn't like what we wanted. So with this one, we were just like, let's get it perfect, perfect, perfect for the ball. Mm -hmm. And then let's move on to other stuff. So. Cool, absolutely. So the price, you're gonna knock down the price of the yeah. original Sphero? So the, the new Sphero 2.0 will be the price of the older Sphero, which is $129.99 at the retail store. Right. And then the older Sphero, Sphero 1.0, will be $109.99 at retail stores. Cool. So you, you were talking to me earlier about wanting to kind of change demographics a little bit. Right. Um, what, what do you mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is like, I think that Sphero has kind of grown up now. Um, it has a very mature SDK in almost all the languages. So like iOS, Android, Unity, you know, Python, Node.js, anything that you can think of, it has like an SDK. So we kind of feel like the, the nerds of the world, myself in the world, like I'm already stoked with it. It's a robot, it's really powerful. Right. There's a lot of programming languages. So I'm kind of already sold. But we feel like when we were doing a lot of playtests, you know, we, we noticed that the kids loved it, but they all started doing this thing naturally. They were, they'd be like, my name is Bob and I'm a level four because I'm red. <laughs> right? They would naturally do that when they're playing together. So we're like, we should give them this. This all is right. what they want to do with it. And so that's kind of our, our idea to, you know. Push into that next wave of. Exactly. And I think, you know, when you watch children play with it, they just get so much enjoyment. And we've also been, you know, making this educational movement where we teach kids how to program with Sphero, but they teach them how to maybe make a square or something with a Sphero. Mm -hmm. And they don't even realize that they're learning angles and velocities and percentages and stuff like that. 
So it's been a really fun adventure with that as well, awesome. getting kids in, but interested in programming and science. Awesome. Well, this is all really cool. I'm excited about it. What are the dates on all of this? When um, can we expect it in so stores? So you can expect the pre-order to happen on the 14th of August, and then you'll expect to see the Sphero in store on August 31st. Awesome. And then also, I think it's September 4th that you will see in the Apple retail store, Ooh. we have this one that's called Sphero Revealed. It's a pretty guy. Yeah. But this one's called Sphero Revealed. It's the one that will be exclusively at the Apple retail store. You can see the innards there. Yep. All right, Adam. Cool. Well, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And, you know, I hope to see you at this year's CES, I'm sure. Absolutely. All right. That's it for Sphero 2.0. Thanks for watching.